Happy 4th of July, everybody. I am doing today the Virtual Divas 5K in honor of breast cancer awareness. I glow pink. I normally um, don't sign up for virtual races. I'm pretty selective of the ones that I do. It's normally Disney. But this year, the summer series that Disney is doing really didn't seem like it was worth the price for me. I'm just not a Marvel's comic fan. Please don't hate me. But when I got an email saying there was a Divas 5K, being the girly girl that I am, I was all over that in a split second. So join me for my 4th of July Virtual Divas 5K. And I'm going to talk about some reasons why I think you should sign up for a virtual race. Let's hit the road. Do you get excited when you see a package in the mail? I do. And I get really excited when it's from the divas. run a virtual race you know some people say well you're just paying for the medal well really you're doing that with a physical race and and a whole lot more so this is a great way if you don't have the budget and believe me going to a Disney race or any race for that fact you're gonna spend a whole lot more on travel expenses food etc than you would for a virtual race so those that have a tight budget virtual racing is great it's a great introduction to running as well. You know, before taking the plunge into the big marathon, half marathon, 10, or even a 5K, this is a great way to find out if you're really gonna enjoy it. And it helps keep you motivated too. You get some nice bling too. And make sure to always hashtag on Instagram or Twitter. You'll get lots of likes and hearts and thumbs up immediately. So you'll make a lot of friends on social media. And they'll help encourage you along the way as well. So join me on this virtual 5K, and I'm gonna talk about some reasons why I think you should sign up for a virtual race. Signing up for a virtual race has a lot of benefits. Here are my top seven reasons why I think you should sign up for a virtual race. Number one, flexible timing. There are so many races that I would like to do, but my calendar fills up quickly with work, hobbies, travel, etc. Being able to run a race at a time and place of my choice is spectacular, and it helps me stay motivated. Number two, worry-free. When you're running a virtual race and the weather is cold, wet, snowy, or whatever, you have the option to hit the treadmill. You also have the opportunity to run another day if you're feeling sick or have a last-minute plan that you can't get out of. Number three, gear testing. Just bought a new running belt or earbuds or a costume? Test it out on a familiar area rather than on the actual race course. If you haven't seen my Star Wars virtual half marathon video, you need to. And this will show you how important it is to always test out your running gear. Number four, fuel testing. You never want to try something new on race day. But running close to your home gives you the opportunity to try out something different, a pre-run or a during-run snack. Better to find out now if your digestive system doesn't like your choice. Number five, break up training monotony. 18 to 24 weeks of training for a single race may lead to feeling burned out. If you sprinkle in some fun virtual 5Ks or 10Ks along the way, it allows you to work on speed, and have a little extra fun. Number six. When I first started running, I was always worried that everyone was looking at me and thinking, what is she doing on the race course? 
A virtual race allows you to start treating yourself like the runner you know you are without worrying about what other people are thinking. We all have our own style. Embrace it. Don't hide it. And number seven, the bling. Virtual races have come a long way with fancy medals and great shirts, along with many other additional goodies that they send along in your package. Well deserved. Thank you for joining me for my Divas Virtual 5K. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment below, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. And join me later this week. I will be beginning my Dopey Training Series. It's 28 weeks, and I will meet you all in Disney World in January.